Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So let's get cracking. Ah yeah, so I put up a couple of um, questions, a post on YouTube and one on Instagram asking people, basically ask me anything, um, because I thought it'd be nice, you know, people have asked me questions on things and one thing and another, and I thought it'd be nice just to, uh, to answer some of those questions all in one. You could get to know me a bit better if you, if you wanted to, you know. Um, so that's this video. I'm also going to be putting some of the questions that I'm not able to answer on YouTube just because um, there's a limit to what, what YouTube will allow. I'm going to stick that over on my Patreon, but don't feel that you're missing out because the vast majority of the questions are on here. It's just the odd bit that I can't actually put on here. Um, okay, so I better get the questions up and I put my gigs on. I have to tell you as well, I'm absolutely being driven insane with air fever at the moment. I'm sneezing like mad, my eyes are running, it's just driving me crazy. So if I periodically look like there's tears rolling down my face, it's not because I'm emosh, it's just that I've got really bad air fever. I only get it once every about six or eight years, you know, but anyway, let's start with Instagram. Okay, so the first question is, uh, will you be doing more clothes hauls? And have I tried Simply Be? I've never tried Simply Be. Um, and I might give it a go, you know. It might be something that I actually quite like um, trying in the future. So, yeah, I'll definitely be doing more clothes hauls because I love doing them, you know. Um, and I've got no clue what it is that I what that suits me or anything. So it really helps me to vet out all the things that I would normally buy and wear, but people think just look ridiculous, you know. Speaking of which, I'm in a jumper today. I cannot believe it's May and I'm in a flipping jumper. It's freezing. I've got air fever and I'm cold. What a combination. Anyway, so next up, what's my favourite film? Okay, easy one this, right? It's 12 Angry Men. It's a really old film. I think it was made in the 50s, uh, 1950s that is. It's got Henry Fonda in it and it, a lot of other people. And it's a, a, if, you, if you don't know what it is, it's like a courtroom thing. So it's basically 12 jurors who were deciding on whether somebody, whether this person that you only briefly see a glimpse of is a murderer or not. And I just love that film. I must have forced my kids to watch it so many times that everybody's got their own quotes from it, right? <laughs> so one of my favourites is there's a really old guy in there and, a, and somebody throws a bit of paper up onto a fan and it comes back and hits him on the head and he goes, that's a damn stupid thing to do. And I, honestly, the number of quotes we've got from that film, because I've subjected to my kids to it so many times, but that's literally my favourite film. It's not a contemporary one. I really like old films. Um, and Columbo. I love watching Columbo as well. Could watch Columbo back to back. I've got the old box set of it and everything. Just love Columbo. Please give Lady G a shout out. Hi, Lady G. Um, I hope you're doing well and everything. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. What else have I got? What's my favourite shop at the moment? Clothing wise, I really liked Sainsbury's. I did a Sainsbury's haul and really liked it, you know. So, and I'm desperate to get into the actual shop and see what the clothing's like, you know, when you go to the shop rather than looking online. The shop I used to love was Zara, but I went in the other day with my daughter and honestly, I was hard pressed to find anything that I wanted to pay the price for because I think the prices have gone up in that shop a lot, you know, in Zara. I don't remember them being that expensive in the past, but I did used to love Zara, but like I say, I like Sainsbury's. And my, my favourite shop shop to go in has got to be either own bargains or Poundland, one of them, because I just love a bargain. I really love a bargain. <laughs> and I love all the nonsensical things that are in there. <laughs> just the things you didn't know you wanted, but suddenly you want because they're there, you know. So I love Poundland and own bargains, probably my favourites as well. And somebody also put, I, I must be minted, I'm, honestly, I'm really, really not. I'm really, really not. I, it looks like that because I do a lot of shopping, but I literally I, I only keep out of the clothing my favourite, favourite things. I don't keep the whole haul 
you know what I mean? So yeah, I take the advice of people online and keep the things that um, that are the best out of them. Moving on. Do I have a family photo? Do you know this is awful to say, but no, I don't in this flat. I have got photographs, but they're in a drawer. So I'm planning a video where I'm making this place more my own, you know, and I'll show you some things that I'm doing for it and one thing and another. So when I've got some time, I'm going to do a video where I put up photographs. I'll show you the photographs and everything and, and just make it more my sort of home you know what i mean so um so i don't my kids are fab thank you for saying they sound fab they are i absolutely adore them every all four of them i love they're all very individual and i'm and i love that about them you know that they're all their own people um and i but i just love them all so yeah and i miss them dreadfully as well what made me decide to start a youtube channel because i'm crackers I don't know what else to say. Right, my first few videos were absolutely pants. They're not that much better now, let's be honest about it. They were absolutely pants. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to do loads of stuff. But I just thought, I'm up for a challenge. I'll do this. I was getting a bit sort of, you know, we were like under pressure of, like we couldn't go out anywhere or do anything because this were only in January. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on. I'm just going to give it a go. Why not? And thankfully, my kids were so horrified by the idea that they were, you know, like they didn't get so embarrassed. So that were great. Um, and I just thought it would be a bit of fun, you know, something else to do, a bit of an hobby, that kind of thing. So that's why I did it, really. And I've loved every minute of it. I have to say, I really do enjoy it. So, yeah, that's why I started, because I'm crackers. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear what's the favorite what's my favorite place i've been on holiday to i haven't been that many places ever i went to new york once i've been to france i've been to spain i've been to greece on holiday but when my kids were growing up we used to go to emsby in great yarmouth and because it was cheap and cheerful i were on my own bringing up four kids so i had to find somewhere that were really like i could afford to go so I used to go there with my kids. So my happiest memories, in all honesty, are at Emsby and Great Yarmouth because that's where we went year after year. Not every year because I couldn't afford it every year, but that's where I went with my kids. So that's my favourite place, really. You know, I just love it there because it's just... My mum took us there when we were kids and I took my kids there just for the same reason, because it was cheap and cheerful. I mean, you're basically staying in a hut <laughs> when you go there. And one night it was really, really stormy. And I, I, I became very aware that I was in what, it, what, what amounted to a shed. <laughs> right? And the, the thunder and lightning were crashing outside. I thought, oh my goodness, if we make it till morning, it'll be a miracle. But we did, obviously, you know. But um, yeah, you stayed in like a shed. <laughs> but it was a nice walk. The beach were lovely. And we just used to spend all the time sitting on the beach, you know. Going to amusement arcades on the 2P machines and stuff. But it was such a good time. You know, I'd love to go back there. Just, you know, just to spend a bit of time there. Just because I loved it so much. So, yeah. So, M's being great. Yeah, it's not out flash, is it? You know, anyway. Yeah. Right, what's my favourite thing about where I live? Easy, being near to my family. I get to see my mum regularly now. Um, and I am near to where my kids are. You know, I'm not far away from my kids. So, when restrictions ease and things... I'll be able to see him. It'll be a lot easier. Um, I grew up round here as well. So I regularly at the shops run into people that I went to primary school with. I've got them all on Facebook and everything, you know, all my pals from <laughs> from all uh, through my life. So, um, and we, we, I don't think people, on as a rule, there's a couple of people that have moved away, but a lot of people are still here. You know, we, I, I meet them, if I go... Like before I went and lived with my partner, if I were out and went to a pub or somewhere, there'd be people in there that I'd know from primary school, you know, like I say. So it's great. I'm surrounded by a community that know me and have known me my whole life, you know. So I feel really secure here and I get to see my mum all the time and I get to see my kids or I will do when, you know, the restrictions ease a bit. So that's what I love about it. 
I'll tell you what I don't love about living here. The 30 steps you have to climb up to get into the flat, right? I'm shattered. There's days when I think, do I want to go out? Do I really need to go out? Just because I can't face the walk back up the stairs on my way in. But anyway, so that's that. Do I know how many subscription boxes you subscribe to? Subscribe to? Not so many anymore, so I've had a right good clear out of subscription boxes. There were some that I only, only subscribed to. To, just to give them a try, you know what I mean? But the ones that I'm now subscribed to on the regular are Glossy Box, Rocker Box, Birch Box, Look Incredible, Look Fantastic, the, the expensive Look Incredible one that comes every two months, ZBs and FFS, which is a deodorant company. I think that's it. So that's eight, isn't it? Yeah. So those, oh no, I'm lying, Kawaii box, <laughs> so nine. Right, so I've got nine. I did used to have a load, a load more than that. But like I say, I can't subscribe to them all. I'm going to have another clear out soon. I think Birch Box is on its way out. And um, I, I think the expensive um, Look Incredible might be as well, just because it's 65 quid every two months. It's a big chunk of money, you know. So I'm thinking they're going. Maybe Kawaii box. Even though it breaks my heart, that might be going as well. But the other ones I'll keep getting just because I like them. I like opening them. I like that people are interested in those ones as well. So that's my subscription boxes, yeah. So, yeah. It's quite a lot, isn't it? But, you know, I do like them. And I'm keeping my whole family supplied with um, cosmetics and skincare um or you name it particularly eyeliners and bronzers because i don't use either of those so if anybody ever wants an eyeliner or a bronzer in family they just ask me you know i sent my sister a box full of stuff the other week um so i just pass them around the whole family i don't keep them all for myself it feels like nice to be able to do that and the things i don't open go into the giveaway on my channel so that's nice as well that somebody gets to win that so yeah, so I think I'm going to keep those ones for the time being. But, um, yeah, I have had a right good clear out. Um, where am I from? We can't place your accent. My bloke thinks it's Barnsley. I think Huddersfield. Right, I'm from Bradford. <laughs> and that's how we say it here. Bradford. <laughs> no, dear. There's a T in it and no beginning D. You know, right. Uh, that that's where I've grown up. My mum's horrified by my accent. She's from Newcastle originally, but um, so she's quite horrified by how broad I am. But you know, she once said to me, "You know, it's hair with an H, right?" She was shouting at me down the phone for for saying at, that I'd been to hairdressers, and she went, "It's hair." Right? I said, "Nay, love. If you didn't want me to speak with a Yorkshire accent, you shouldn't have moved me down here when I was two. You know what I mean, right?" So yeah. So, uh, it is Bradford. That's where I'm from, anyway. But close guess. I think Huddersfield's pretty close, isn't it, that? That's not far away. Will you do a flat tour sometime? I love your videos. Thank you for loving my videos. I will do a flat tour. Once I've got it sorted, and like I say, I'm going to make it a bit more like my own, um, I will do a flat tour and show you the minuscule flat that I live in, although it's double the size of the flat I used to live in. So, yeah, and I'm very grateful for it. Thank you to my lovely daughter for letting me come here, you know. Um, I am very grateful to have this space. I didn't want a massive space. You've got to heat a massive space. You've got to clean a massive space. Just want a little place, me. So, like I say, the flat I originally chose were half this size. It was literally one room. The kitchen on one side, bedroom and living room all in the same room. What, what, what you would have called a bed set back in the day, you know. But it was so cheap to keep it warm, to pay for it. And then it were easy to clean as well. So, I loved that little flat. So, this is double the size I actually need. But I'm very grateful for it. So, um, are you a nanny? Oh, I'm not a nanny. But... Um, but I used to be a nurse, you know, working in like education, social services and private day nurseries. So, yeah, that's it. So working in schools and social services and then now sort of more recently private day nurseries. Who do you like to watch on YouTube? Oh, right. Loads of people. I follow absolutely loads of people. Um, loads of women of my age. I'm trying to think who, what the names are. 
See, I struggle remembering everybody's name, but um, I, but I've got them. I'm subscribed to a load of people, and I love Brandon Farris as well, right? I'm Brandon Farris. I just think he's hilarious. In some ways, he reminds me of my son because he's really slim, um, and uh, you know, and he comes up with the wackiest ideas. But I absolutely love Brandon Farris. So yeah, but loads of women of my age as well. So, uh, how old am I? Straight to the point, don't oh, no messing, right? I'm 53. I'll tell you what that reminds me of. A hot fuzz where the, where he goes into the bar, and woman says uh, that somebody had, uh, that this guy had put in paper she were 54. But, and I'm really 53. So yeah, I'm 53. I'm gonna be 54 this year though. Um, how am I doing? I'm doing all right, you know. I'm actually okay. Apart from air fever, let me wipe my nose again. Apart from air fever, I'm doing fine. You know, I, emotionally, I'm okay. You know, I'm over it and that, you know, all break up and everything. So, yeah, it's all right. I'm quite like, liking living on my own. You get to do all, whatever you want when you want, don't you? Aside from all the commitments that you have, in your free time, you can just go off and do stuff, you know. You don't have to, like, worry about somebody else, what they might want to do, what they might not want to do, you know. You just go do your own thing. So, yeah. What's the best part of being a mum? Oh, best part of being a mum is just having the kids I've got. Absolutely. It's, it's my favourite thing. Right, when you have babies, you don't imagine that eventually, at the point you're having babies, you know, you really want a baby. You don't think about... I don't think so. Maybe this was just me. You don't think that eventually, that at that moment when you're pregnant and stuff, that you're going to have adults, right? You just think, I'm having a baby, you know? Right, and then as sort of as they start to grow and you realise how quickly they grow, I very quickly realised, I'm going to have adults one day. These kids are going to be adults. What kind of adults do I want them to be? And I wanted them to be free thinking, you know. I didn't want them to be just like me. I wanted them to be themselves. Now they have become themselves. The best bit about having kids is suddenly you've got these other people in the world that you have been a part of, you know, sort of shaping, but they turn out to be the most wonderful people, I, honestly. And and they never stop surprising me with how amazing they are, right? That's the thing. Because the point at which your job's done, they take over and become amazing people. And, I, you know, and, and that bit is the best bit of being a mum, knowing that these adults are out there in the world you know, being amazing, that I love that. And I just love spending time with them as well. Any time that, you know, they've got to spend with me, I love that. So that's my favourite thing. Also, what would my last meal slash drink be on death row? Right, it'd probably be Humpy. If you don't know Humpy, it's a shop that sells hummus and pita. Now, it were originally in corn exchange in Leeds, and I, we used to go there, but they spread out. There were one in York. I think they've got one in Sheff, Sheffield as well. And it's basically this guy set it up. It's all vegan, and it's just hummus and falafel. Now, I can't eat the, um, the pita breads that you get, so as in hum from hummus and pit as in from pita, right? Hump it. But it's, I get the salads and they come in a like a bowl and you've got all these amazing ingredients in the salad with hummus and falafel on top. It's just lovely. It's one of my favourite things to eat. In fact, me and my daughter were out shopping the other day and went to a, a place where we could get some food um, and sit outside. And then we sat there thinking, why didn't we go to flipping? <laughs> Didn't we go to Umpit? You know, all my days, anyway. So, yeah, it'd be Umpit and then probably a lake of cider, which I'd insist I drink with a straw, right? Because if I'm on, if this is my last meal, I want to eke it out a bit, you know what I mean? So, a lake of cider and a straw that I can drink it with just to postpone the inevitable. So, that's that. What was the main reason I started a plant-based diet? Is it helping you to lose weight? Now, when you first go on a plant-based diet, I'm going to tell you this, you lose weight like that because you're used to eating in a certain way and plant-based eating is not like eating meat eating. So when you're a veggie, and I were a veggie for a long time, 
you, that is very similar to me eating in that you have like when you make a meal you have a protein like as a separate thing like i don't know you might have eggs or if you if you're veggie or you might have um a piece of meat if you're a meaty you might have a quiche versus a pie you know a meat pie that kind of thing and then you have all the other bits that go with it when you go plant-based all that goes out the window because there isn't like a set protein you're not going to open a pack of chickpeas and put them on the side and then have other bits on it so you tend to eat all in it but because you're getting your head around that at first you just tend to eat the meals that you've had without the protein bit you just skip the protein bit so you might just have a plate of veg you know and you lose weight really quickly then you find out about all the stuff that you can eat that's vegan and that's not quite so good for you. Like Oreos, Skittles, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to say opal fruit, Starburst, you name it, jellies, sweets, all that. So after a bit, after being plant-based for quite a long time, you've worked out you can just basically, you can still get fat being plant-based. It's true, you can. So it's not really helping me to lose weight. The only thing that's helping me to lose weight is actually by restricting what it is I'm eating, you know, not eating as much. But um, it can do if you go that way first. The main reason I went, I became plant-based was because I followed a load of YouTubers that were plant-based and it seemed like a really clean, healthy way of eating, you know. Like, I'm not a militant plant-based and I don't, and it is just my diet that I stick to now. You know, it's mainly plant-based. That's what I say, mainly plant-based. And I think if you're 99% plant-based, then that's better than being no percent, isn't it? You know what I mean? So if, you know, as far as the militants go, you know, think of it that way, I suppose. Although I'm not judgmental of anybody. At one point I ate meat and at one point I were a vegetarian. So I am not judgmental of any, anybody. You, you do you, boo. You know. Was I born in York? Or did I move there later? I wasn't born in York. I was born in Gateshead. You won't believe it by accent, would you? But I was born in Gateshead, Newcastle upon Tyne. Why I am, I'm going to do the raft and I can't pack the tudor. I was born there and moved to, my mum moved to Bradford area when I were 18 months, something like that. I've lived here ever since. So, yeah. And I moved to York to be with my partner, but then moved back when that all sort of deteriorated, disintegrated, whatever. Is my single life suiting me? It certainly is. Yeah, I'm having a whale. Honestly, it's great. If I could go anywhere on holiday, cost no object, where would you go and why? Um, I don't know that I'd go anywhere, you know. I'm not really a, a person that likes to travel a lot. That's bad, isn't it? But I never have been. I'm quite introverted, right, despite the fact I've got a YouTube channel. So being at home and being surrounded by people that know me is my preferred state. When I travel, I get really anxious. So, uh, yeah, so I'd probably stay to... I'd probably go to Bradford. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably stay in Bradford. So... It's funny, somebody put on YouTube, on uh, my Facebook the other day about it had all the different months of the year and it said, this is where you're going on holiday next year and for mine it said Bradford. <laughs> but great, that's exactly what I was planning because that is what I, I would plan. I mean, I'm sure there's some really beautiful places in the world but I really love this country. So I'd quite like to go to Ireland though. I, I think Ireland might be a place I'd quite like to go, you know. I think I'll be all right there. What's my go-to item of clothing? Leggings. <laughs> I'm built for comfort these days, honestly. I love me leggings. I put them on all the time. When I'm not having to go out and stuff, just leggings and a shirt or a top, or in this case, a t-shirt and a jumper. Because I know I'm not going out of the house, so I'm just, that's, I, I just find them so comfy. And I buy them at Primarni as well, just Primark leggings. They're only like £2.83. I get the ones that are the viscosey ones, um, not the cotton ones. They wash really well. I've got about 20 pairs of them. So, yeah, leggings, definitely. Uh, what's my favourite colour? Green. No, no question about it, green. I love it. Didn't used to be my favourite colour. I used to like pinks and purples. As I've got older, green's my favourite colour. So, and I don't know why, it just is. 
Right, I'll go to my YouTube ones. How's life as a single Pringle? It's great. Um, can I do an eBay mystery box? Uh, unbox it. I am. Do you know what? I bought some eBay mystery boxes and intended doing it a while ago. It was just before the breakup. So they're actually behind me here in a tub. Right, so yes, I'm going to do the eBay unboxing. Right. What's my favourite restaurant? Umpit. <laughs> I love Umpit. I like Pret as well. I just like coffee shops and stuff, me. I find I'm, I'm more comfortable there. Because at restaurants, big restaurants, there's always loads of people, stuff like that. Coffee shops, people are getting on with the day. They don't seem to notice you that much. You ain't just bob in there. I love Starbucks, right? And my Starbucks order is always tall, extra hot soy latte. Right, that is my go-to Starbucks order. Nobody asked me that, but I've just told you anyway. Love Starbucks, love the soup at Pret, but my favourite restaurant, without a shadow of a doubt, is Umpit. If you've never been, try it. You won't go back, honestly. Would you get any pets to keep you company in the flat? I'd love to, but I can't because I'm not allowed to have pets here. So at some point in the future, maybe, if I move, you know, I might consider it. At the moment, I don't let my mind go there because I'd get a bit sad. You know, I'd love a little dog. Absolutely love that, but I just can't, you know, so... Um, at some point in the future, though, I think that's where where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be getting, because I have given up having proper, like, living together relationships. If I ever get a partner again, I ain't living with him, so I am keeping my own place. I've done, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, I'm out of that now, so I'm just going to stay single, get myself a little dog, I think, you know, at some point in the future, but not now, so... Oh my goodness, what's the story behind Nippy? Right, okay, I'm going to introduce you to Nippy. Come here, Nippy, love. Right, this is Nippy. She's She's got a little life of her own. She, she wanders around behind me regularly. One year, we went on holiday to Emsby, me and the kids. We went to a car boot sale and I bought Nippy. I loved her. She sat all my kids' childhood sort of nick to my curtains and stuff like that my kids will remember her and at some point when i were going through a stage of minimalizing i got rid of nippy sorry nippy and um then this year for mother's day my daughter bought me a bought me one back so this is nippy right she's been a part of our lives for quite a long time, all in all. I absolutely adore her. She's just one of those little things that you squeeze her arms and her hands up and she can clip onto things. But I've always called her nippy. So, yeah, thank you to my daughter for buying me her um, back so that she's... And she'll never leave, leave me again. I'll have her forever now um, because I missed her when she was gone. So I absolutely love her. Hello, darling. She just keeps me company here when I'm doing my filming. So, yeah. So, that's Nippy. I'll, I'll put her down here. Sit there, Nippy. Good girl. What plans do I have for videos on my channel apart from hauls? I'm going to do a whole load of stuff. So, I'm planning some stuff for my daughters. So, my daughters are thinking of coming on and doing a bit of stuff with me. And a variety of other things once all the restrictions are lifted. Um, and all sorts of things, really. I sort of thought about doing some... I'm doing some crafts, some cooking videos, things like that, because I'm... I, for all I've got an art, arts training, there's loads of crafts that I'm absolutely pants at, and I thought I'd have a go at them, you know. Because often when you look at YouTube videos, people are really competent at it, and, they, you know, all of a sudden they do this thing, and, and you're looking at what you've made, and you're like, hang on, mine looks now like that. So I thought, I, I'm happy to show you the real start of a 10 bit where you're learning. You know what I mean? So I might put a few of those up. And also I'm absolutely pants at cooking, but I'd quite like to do a bit of incompetent cooking, you know, like, so I'm going to do that. Um, was wondering how you found out about your gluten intolerance and what symptoms you experienced. I had a rash that started on my elbow about there. And it was like, I thought I'd been bitten out in garden. And over the period of a couple of months, it spread like that around my elbow. And I got another one on the same size. It was really itchy and really, like, fiery. Uh, I've also got another patch. You see this thing here? That's scarring from a patch of it. 
and I've got a big patch on my leg. Right, that is, every time I eat gluten, do I get a, come out in a rash? But there's also the stomach symptoms as well. So I ended up getting like, you know, like it'd give me, you know, unpleasant stomach symptoms, let's say. And, but I went to the doctors, they treat it for loads of different things. In the end, I stopped eating gluten and it dried up, cleared away and it were fine. Now, I know if I've accidentally eaten something with gluten in because immediately I get symptoms in my stomach and also I'll get the rash. So this bit will flare up on my neck and the big patch that I've got on my leg will flare up. So, yeah, so that's how I found out about it. Do I edit my own videos? Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, I have no help, right? I just do all this myself. And I didn't know how to do it at first, but over time, I've got quicker at it and stuff. I just edit it really simply. I don't use any fancy filters or out like that. I just I just do it the basics, do you know what I mean? So, um, but it seems to work out all right. Um, what video do you want to do I haven't done yet? I want to do a video with my daughters where we buy each other an outfit and see how we go with that. I also would like to do a tipsy Q&A with them. So that would be fun, I think. Um, but we might have to do that as a live. But we'll see anyway. But those are some things I'd like to do I haven't done. Um, did I manage to get all my collections from my ex-partners? Not all of them, but most of them. Some of them I just couldn't bring with me because there just isn't room in this flat for them. But I got all my favourite ones. Do you know what I mean? Ryan Foxley, can I give you a shout out? Yes. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> yes, I can. Um, what's my favourite food? Oh, lettuce. I love lettuce, right? I just find it so crunchy and refreshing. Love it. I've lettuce with loads of stuff. Just iceberg lettuce, you know. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of my favourite foods. Hobbies apart from YouTube, painting and drawing. I love painting and drawing. I've got sketchbooks and things that I do. Um, so, because I've got arts training, so that's what my arts, but you know, it's my arts background. So I love to do that. So that's it, right? So I, I, I'll try and edit this into some semblance of um, acceptability <laughs> rather than just the ramblings of a crazy old woman. But um, yeah, but that's everything for today. Thanks so much for the questions. It were really fun. I've enjoyed doing it. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you wanted to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!